Hi guys, it's Chris here from Tech Tablets. There's been a few of you asking in the comments on the forum and in YouTube here, which is faster? What is the actual gap performance wise between the Atom X5 8500 and the Atom X5 8300? So here I've actually taken a look. This is the Onda V820WCH. Not a particularly wonderful tablet. And this is the Techlast X98 Pro that has the faster Atom X5 Z8500 in it. Now the difference in clock speeds between them, this has a turbo of 2.24 gigahertz and this one is 1.84 gigahertz. So there's a 400 megahertz gap between them. This is 400 megahertz slower and it also has a 100 megahertz slower GPU clock. So you can see this is the score difference between both of them running Ice Storm 1.2, so we get 15,000. And this is the Ice Storm 1.2 score here of 25,000 on the X98 Pro. Now, this was run under ideal conditions, being which I didn't have the tablet charging at the same time and I wasn't continuously looping benchmarks. I, the tablet was cool when I ran both of these tests on both of them as to get the best possible score I could out of both of these tablets here. If you were to run this with the tablet charging and it's getting quite hot there, then you can expect this score to be very close to Ice Storm 1.2 score running on the lower clocked Atom Cherry Trail here. And the reason that is, of course, because it starts to throttle when it gets too hot. Speaking of which, with the temperatures, both of these tablets did get quite hot. So the whole time I've been running these benchmarks, you can see I've had... Uh, it on for about 54 minutes here and it got itself up to 84 degrees hopefully you can see that there it does get quite hot but the Onda didn't say anything about thermal throttling so it didn't actually throttle itself at least HW Info didn't detect that on the other hand though the X98 Pro here you can see got up to 85 degrees here and it does detect Thermal throttling there, so it says yes, thermal throttling did occur. So it's something to bear in mind. I really wish these Chinese manufacturers would change the way they're putting the heat spreaders on top of these Atom chipsets now. Cherry Trail is a lot hotter than the Bay Trails. I've seen that already, and it's pretty much proven. Now, I know the Surface 3 with the X7 in it doesn't get this hot, but Microsoft, I think, have some cooling pipes in there. And they're using the whole back case of the Surface 3 as basically a huge heatsink. So I think these Chinese manufacturers, Techlast, Onda, Pipo, Chewy, I'm hoping they're going to start to now put just a small copper heatsink over the top of these Cherry Trails would definitely help increase performance. And really it shouldn't be that much of a cost increase for them there to do this. Now the other scores I ran, here we have 3D Mark 11. So you can see there's a 90 point difference there with the performance setting. It's quite a large difference. Just lower the screen down here. The Chewy screen is struggling at 100% to keep up with the brightness of the X98 Pro here. On the other benchmark I can show you the difference is Geekbench 3. Just to give us an idea here of the differences between them both. So we can see uh, 2136. This is almost 3,000 on their multi-core score. So there's a large difference there. Again, 400 megahertz faster this one. So that's why that difference is coming into play there. And in terms of battery life, well, although it's reporting here that I can get six hours, that's not actually going to be the case at all. I'm not going to be able to get six hours out of it. You get about four and a half hours with the Techlast X98 Pro in Windows. And here with the Onda V820WCH, a mouthful to say that model name this gets around two three hours but i do have this problem with the battery meter that i talked about in my previous videos on this tablet here you can see it's got a wear level of 59 percent so that's the kind of performance you can expect to see coming with the up and coming chewy hi8 pro and the chewy h10 hi10 Techlast X80 Plus and Pro models as well will be using the Atom X5Z8300. But keep in mind that Onda, I think, are one of the poorest manufacturers of tablets at the moment. So performance probably isn't 
as good as it could be on other models, they're quite poor at optimizing their tablets. So I do think that the other manufacturers like Tech Blast and Chewy are probably going to squeeze a little bit more performance out of that Atom, the lower end Atom Cherry Trail that's going to be coming out in those future models that I just mentioned. So there's a very quick comparison there between the X5 8500 and the X5 8300. Thank you for watching the video. Stay tuned to the channel if you are interested in this topic with Chinese tablets. I'll have a few more up and coming in November. There's going to be quite a few releases, so keep an eye out for that. Thank you for watching the video. See you later.